Youth Believing in Change provides the spiritual and educational foundation for building character to develop leaders who will serve others, love one another, and apply these virtues to their daily lives. As we encroach upon 30 years of giving children the spiritual and educational foundation they need to succeed, God's favor is upon YBC, changing lives and building testimonies. If I wouldn't have been here, I probably would have been, you know, with my friends doing, uh, I don't know what, but coming here definitely taught me the word, like I said, the word of God, and I mean, without God, none of this is possible, so, and it taught me leadership, and, you know, um, taught me what to do and who to look for, and if I ever had any questions, I know I had God, and I can't go wrong with that. Air Force is great, um, taught me uh, my three core values, which is uh, service before self, integrity first, of course, and excellence in all we do, and which kind of just goes back to what I learned here at YBC. Linwood Fields joined YBC when he was eight years old. At age 12, Linwood accepted Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior while in YBC. At age 16, Linwood served as a page in the U.S. House of Representatives. At age 17, Linwood graduated from Judge Barefoot Sanders Law Magnet at Townview. Linwood then enrolled in SMU where he graduated with a degree in political science. Linwood then enlisted in the U.S. Air Force. While in the Air Force, Linwood earned a master's degree in biblical studies from Dallas Theological Seminary. Linwood then got ordained and licensed to preach. He then re-enlisted in the U.S. Air Force and got married to the love of his life. 28 years of YBC, and I've been a part of it for 25 years. I went from eight years old, and now I'll be 34 in, uh, this coming June. So the investment that you all have made has definitely made a difference. Some YBC staff members who joined YBC at five years old are now in college preparing to be teachers or future leaders. I'm able to give back to YBC and just showing these kids the, the love of God, the patience that he's gonna have with us, the path that we need to take, um, and to not just learning it and keeping it to ourselves, but showing them with their teachers, with their families, and with their friends. I was the only uh, English-speaking uh, child in my family. It was very impactful because I was provided with uh, tools, learning tools, tutoring tools, reading tools that my parents couldn't provide for me. As long as there are children and schools, there will be a need for a safe, spirit-filled atmosphere where kids can get a hug, a meal, and help with homework while developing a relationship with Jesus through prayer, praise, and worship, and scripture memory. Luke 12, 10, then Jesus said, Fear not, for the everlasting Father, mighty God, wonderful counsel, has sent me down here to save you all from your sins and have a second chance to live. John 10, 29 through 30, my Father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Summer at YBC is one of the most joyful times of the year. Children arrive at 8.30 a.m. for a breakfast snack, and then they participate in activities ranging from praise and worship to Bible study, arts and crafts to creative writing, recreation, lunchtime, and occasional field trips. The highlight of each day during the summer is 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. when volunteers come in to read to and with children the Young Men's Service League. Consisting of teen boys and their moms enjoy reading to and with kids at YBC. Kids as young as four years old may volunteer. I just think it makes such an impact in so many ways with vocabulary and just, I don't know, just a, a love of learning with reading and so I, it's a gift to me to be able to read to these kids. I think their excitement and then feel the energy of God's Word planted in their hearts. Whether you're four or 104, if you can read, you can meet our need. They read for a certain length of time and then there are puzzles up on the stage that they can go get and bring back to where we're sitting and work these jigsaw puzzles. This little boy, so cute, he stood up, he put his hand out like this in front of me for me to take so he could help me walk down to get the puzzles. When it was all over and we were leaving, 
He grabbed me and hugged me tighter, I guess, than I've ever had anybody hug me. Other volunteer opportunities during the summer are career day speakers, field trip chaperones, other volunteer needs are after school homework helpers Monday to Thursday 4.45 to 5.45 p.m., youth bowling for change volunteers, spring blooms, a project where we plant new flowers and landscape and freshen up the playground, quarterly outreach events at YBC Second Site in the heart of Vickery Meadows. We always need prayer and individuals who are led to financially partner with YBC. Here's why our Quest Family Foundation is supporting YBC. We believe influencing and changing a child's behavior is the most effective way to change the culture. Renewing faith in God with a sense of personal value, raising up kids with skills to be productive citizens. In particular, please consider joining us for YBC's 29th year ministry dinner and celebration. We will work side by side. We will work.